Hey friends and welcome to your daily tarot message. It's Thursday, November 10th. Let's see what's going on today. Messages from the Dream Oracle deck. Okay. <laughs> One more please. We're taking jumpers. Oh yo yo, it's elements again elements again so I don't know who this is for or why this keeps showing up this is a huge theme right now is the elements be very aware of the elements how you're using elements and then we have destruct uh, I'm sorry innocence and destruction hmm uh, innocence is the uh, the fool of this Oracle deck it's the new soul, the student, this quality of naivety and destruction next to it. Um, destruction, um, th the meaning of the destruction card to me is just like this um, need for um, detachment, like releasing the ego. We may spend a lot of time, I think the story behind this card as it's described is um, the, create, the creation of mandalas, the beautiful, colorful sand mandalas take forever and in the end they, they're destroyed. So this, this idea is that you can enjoy the process of something really beautiful and life is beautiful um, and in the end it, it, you know, it is destroyed. Um, the idea of destruction here always leads me to the question of why, like what is the purpose? So I feel like the message for today is something about seeking purpose, especially with innocence here in the center of like the student, this naivety, this new soul. Um, and maybe elements is showing up because it's just very prominent. We're noticing the different energies involved. Still learning about how to use them. Well, Queen of Pentacles here showing up right away. We got jumpers today. I swear to God. Eight of Pentacles again yesterday. Same position, Queen of Cups. Let's take this one too. Queen of Cups and King of Cups, one right next to the other. Um, what is going on today? The Empress. Seven of Wands. Well, I've not seen that one yet. <laughs> ah. I pause the readings. At, that's why I do the thing at the beginning so you can see the cards. Okay, so if you're interested in following along, I'd say grab a, take a screen grab of that front screen there so you can follow along. Oh boy, three more. Three more, please. This might be some my butterfingers. No, you saw that. It's like they're doing pirouettes in the sky, in the air, these cards. It's fun, but send me any kind of good messages, please. Oh my gosh. One more, please. Okay. And the Fool is here as well as the end card. So yeah, this is definitely... Um, there's something new here, right? A, a, the, a new beginning. Um... And I, f I sense a lot of curiosity. The king and queen of cups. It's like some sort of divine counterpart here. Uh, this might be about love. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and read them all for you so you so you can hear me say it. We have the Queen of Pentacles underneath, the Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, King of Cups, Empress, Seven of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, Three of Cups, the Magician, and the Fool. First of all, what I'm seeing is the the Empress and the Nine of Pentacles to me are, are sort of linked. The Nine of Pentacles is the pre-Empress card. But what's happening here is you're already in this empress state. You already have um, this natural or um, sort of divine feminine 
power within you. Right? We all have it. It's always there. And so showing up in the recent past means you've, you've, you've already been able to tap into that. And maybe that's why the Queen of Pentacles is this energy underneath, the supporting energy. The Queen of Pentacles lives the manifestation. You know how to get there, to this state. But by defending your position somehow, right, the Seven of Wands is the center is like, um, either needing validation or needing to like prove something. It like knocks you out of that. It knocks you out down to the Nine of Pentacles. You still have it, but you're not really embodying it as much as you could be or like living that. So what's getting dis the destruction? What is being destroyed here? What is bringing you out of this uh, this moment? The Eight of Pentacles showed up again in the position it did yesterday. So this is about yeah, working on your skills, working on your craft. Three of Cups is here as well. That's a very celebratory energy. Um, it's the idea of community as well. I see. So it almost feels like you are... You have this divine, divine feminine within you. You're also reaching the state of the Queen of Cups. We also have the Magician here, and then from the present to the future moment, this evolving from the Queen to the King of Cups. So you're, you're definitely on some path of um, sort of growing the emotional body, growing, um, becoming more secure um, in your feelings and how you relate to um, things in your life, like in general. But there is a need to sort of um, there, there is a need to take a step back and maybe this is what destruction is alluding to. Cause I, I remember saying early in the video, this idea of ego and, and, and detachment. We need to understand that whatever forces, um, imaginary or real we cooperate with, an interesting word to have selected there but let's go with it whatever forces imaginary or real that you yourself cooperate with we need to understand that this is not um something that we alone uh manifest we utilize the elements right the skills how am i trying to say this We don't create of our own volition. That's why the magician is here and the elements. Okay. The magician uses all of those elements. They're at his disposal. We need to give thanks for those things and not come from a place of ego that says, I alone am responsible for my own evolution. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Um, there is, there are people who will celebrate your ability to tap into, um, creativity, creation, um, you know, beauty, the way you, the way you create beauty in the world, I think is a way that people really appreciate that about you is what I'm seeing. The way that you naturally process things is somehow innately beautiful. And so you might be attributing that to your own, um, just your own um, abilities without much credit to um, the actual inputs, right? Where are you getting this from? And so that's why I think there's like the very slight <laughs> going from the Empress to the Nine of Pentacles. It's going back to the drawing board just a little bit. Go back to the basics 
and try to understand what these elements are um, and how you can best utilize them. And I think it's good advice in general to always be the student, to be a student of life. Um, you know, the only warning of, of the fool and in innocence here perhaps is the, the element of naivety. But I don't think that that's the message trying to come through today. Just It's just something to be aware of, right? Yeah, a, a, a definite devolution. Is that a word? De-evolution, right? There's, there's sort of like an inverse correl correlation to energies in this reading. We're going from the magician to the fool. Empress to the nine of pentacles. But then at the same time, we have the queen of cups to the king of cups. Your graduation of your emotional state is somehow leading you to understand that your ego drives parts, your, that the ego drives a part of how you create in the world. And so to create things with intention means we need to be aware of our processes and, and the elements that are involved in how we're using and creating things in the world. Okay? Okay. That's what I have for you today. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.